Now I want to talk about three things that people usually ask me a lot, right? How I send the emails that people give me from school to my email newsletter software. So the email newsletter software sends an email out to these people who come in automatically and adds them to the email list. That's one thing. Second thing, how to collect external payments and how to give access to someone who pays outside of my platform, like automatically in school here, how I would unlock a course to them. And the third thing that everyone asks me is how to create this calendar ev event accessible only to those who paid. Right. So I'll show you that uh, as well right now. If someone pays externally, how these events would unlock. Right. So let's go one by one. Let's first talk about how we, I send the email out wh when someone subscribed to my email software. For this first one, I already recorded a short video where I show you how to do that. So I am just going to put that recording here so I don't need to re explain it again or I'm gonna link that video recording down below as well so and skip this video if you're not interested in that right now skip it and go to the next thing that I'm gonna show you I want to show you how you can collect people's emails and and get ask them questions when they are joining your school community for example I have just joined my own community here with a different account and after I registered to school, right, for free or so to my free group, it could be a paid group as well, right? I need to now answer this question, right, where, for example, I asked my new members, what email should I send the course materials and instructions about my, our free community to? And they need to drop down the, the email here. And I am going to now get their email where I can send them the free materials to and I'm building an email list with that because if I don't ask them this question, I actually don't see their emails because school doesn't give them to me. It's kind of a privacy thing. Uh, but with that said, I am building an email list now. And so I go to premium life settings and you go under plugins and you need to turn this plugin on membership questions. And as you can see, I already set up a new question here where I asked people for email. And this allows you now to build an email list when people are coming into your free group. And I suggest you that you give them a free course or any kind of lead magnet in exchange. Otherwise, um, so, so th that's the excuse why they would give you an email. Now, if you want to automate this and send them actually a welcome email out when they come into your uh, group, so you don't need to manually then go under, you know, you need to go under members here and you need to export your members out into an Excel document. And that's how you see who gave you their emails then, right? Um, if you don't want to do this all manually and then send them that co free course and free lead magnet, you can automate that. And how you automate things is that you will want to connect Zapier integration here, right? And you're gonna, I have not done this myself yet. I'm just about to do it with this new group of mine. And you're gonna turn this on, uh, on by getting this API key and so on and turn it on here, right? And then you're gonna go to Zapier, which is an app where you can create automations. You get 100 free automations per month. I'll just show you quickly what you do then, right? I'll just go in with my account. For example, here I can create a Zap from scratch now and I need to select what's going to trigger this automation and I'll find school here, right? School and I want when school membership answer, a question is answered, right? I want then to fire my email list provide software that's going to send them an automated email. I am I used to use ConvertKit, but now these days I am using Systemy. It's a cool platform for landing pages. For example, I have this kind of lead, uh, landing page, right? When I am giving people lead magnets away, I have this kind of order page as well on Systemy landing page and stuff like that. And I will just send from school that email to my Systemy app. And I'm going to select create 
and I, I update, uh, create a new contact as well and add a tag, right? And I will then, I will not do this right now, right? But I will create a tag and in system then I'm gonna automate automation when someone received this tag, send them this email, right? And that's how I'm gonna deliver to, I deliver to my people certain email when they request things to. So with school, you can automate this. Now in a similar way that we set up this automation that I just showed you right now, you're gonna set up an automation if someone pays you externally and that will send the data to school, it's gonna unlock your paid course. So, for example, if let's say that this course, right, is a paid one, I have it here set up free, right? But anyway, you're gonna select here, edit course, and you're gonna click only some members have access, right? And only those members who are gonna have access to this later on via automation will be able to see this course. For example, you can, if I would do that, let's let's these two courses of mine are paid, right? Right, Q and A support course. I could manually give each member a permission to access that course. I would click on the members uh, settings and give access to my Q&A support calls and my paid courses. I can manually do that. So you can give access to members who pay you externally. You can give them access to your courses manually, right? But if you want to automate this, what you're going to need to do is, I already showed you the first step, right? Make your course here. Only some members have access, right? So look, even my, my other, for example, user, my other account, test account that I have on school, right? You see, this person cannot access this course, right? They don't have access to it. They need to go and pay externally for it, right? So I could manually give them access or we can do it via automation, right? And so what we need to do now is, for example, you need to understand that I collect payments externally via Systemy platform, which is, and I have an order page there, right? So if people pay me here, right, 150 a month or 250 a month, right, they become a lead in my Systemy app platform. This is connected to Stripe. This is connected to um, PayPal as well, right? And if someone pays here, it's a systemy app platform. I could even give you a link to my free funnel builder templates for this order page and other things down below. I'll put the link down below, right? But you, if I go now to Zapier and I'll log in, and the same way as I have created that previous automation when someone comes to school the email is sent out to systemy now we need to do it the other way right i'll create a zap from scratch right and you could do this just you could look you can even connect like stripe to it right you can connect stripe to this automation so you could collect a payment just via stripe and this would send automation over to school so i'm just gonna use systemy right and i i will like select here when i made a new sale you know, I'm not going to go through this, but if I make, made a sale via that kind of funnel, this would happen, right? And I will search for school and we're going to unlock course for a member, right? And my API is already connected to that, right? And now we just need to link these few fields, right? Which I might not be able to do right now because I didn't complete the first step or so, but courses you're going to then select which course will be unlocked, right? You could even do the two, it seems, at the same time, right? If someone's going to pay via Stripe or uh, Systemy or whichever, it's going to unlock them access here in school, like I showed you before manually, right? And then that person is going to have access to your uh, course automatically, right? So that's how you do this. Now, this leads me to that third thing that I want to share with you is how to give access only to certain people here in the calendar section, right? Now, how this works is you first need to create two course, one course that is called group coaching calls. So that's what I did, right? Group coaching calls. I needed to create a course because and I again will, and then you're going to need to again select here, only some members have access, right? 
because then you're going to need to go to calendar and you're going to need to create, for example, an event. Let me just create a new event from scratch, new paid event, right? And here you will put, is it recurring and what time is it? Do all of those kind of things, location. You can put your Zoom room here, right? Put your Zoom room here that you want people to come into. Description. What I did, something cool in the, I'll get uh, around here because I want you to know this. For those who did not pay yet, for example, let me go to my other user, right? Because this user cannot see those group calls because he didn't pay, right? For example, if this user want, you see Zoom look, link is, uh, is locked because this person doesn't have access. He didn't pay, right? But I gave them a link down below here. If you want access to this Q&A call, you can upgrade here. And if they click, it takes them to my order page. Right, so here is where they can pay, right? So I'll go back to my setup system, right? Because I need you to put this order page link here, actually, for those, you know, who didn't pay yet, because they cannot get access to link, Zoom link, right? But uh, with that said, right, let's go back to the setup here, right? Description, this is what I'll put here. If you did not pay yet, pay here to unlock this thing, right? And now you're gonna put a car for here of the event, but who can attend this event? You're gonna click here, members in a course. And we're gonna choose that paid course, right? That not everyone has access to. Does that make sense how this works now, right? You're gonna need to create a paid course first that you're going to call group calls. Then you're going to create an event which you give only to those who paid for a group calls course, right? Then you're going to go to the Zapier and connect your Stripe payment provider to the Zapier that's going to give access to people to this course, right? And then to those who want to upgrade, who come to these calendar events, you're going to need to give them the link to that page where they can pay from, right? Did this make sense? It's a little complicated, but just do it step by step and figure it out the way that I showed you, right? You're going to need to do all of these three or four things. That's how this currently works on this cool app. It's a little complicated, but that's how it works. If you are running a free community or even if you are running a paid community and you have another tier of people pay you more for extra course or for extra event events access you could do the same thing right so and charge them just externally right through this automation so that's what i wanted to cover here as well and i think that this wraps now this lesson here this tutorial it's a little complex i believe it is no problem right but if you have any questions about this ask them down below and i will answer them to you or ask them in our class course community area and uh tell me what do you need help with so i can help you out if you're enjoying this course here on my youtube channel and if you would like to be part of my or our private free community you can find the link down below and you can join to my school community where you can keep going through this course and you can be part of the community who is going through this course and you can ask me questions in there and we can hang out and another thing if you ever want to use a school app to build your own community membership through it i have an affiliate link through which you can use and i can be paid from you going from you using school and if you're gonna ever use my affiliate affiliate link i'm gonna coach you for free we will make sure that when you are creating an account to start your school community you will want to make sure that you can see my face up here don't start your school community without having any kind of referral that you are going through in here you would want to see me and if you gonna subscribe through me in here you can be part of my special support group of people who I guide through this experience 
because I really want to help you. If you go into the school through me, I will want to make sure that you succeed so you can stay on school, you can get your membership to 10, 15, 20, 30 people and you are making all of this money back. So find the affiliate link down below and I will see if you used it. And also when you get into my free community and if you used my affiliate link, make sure that you DM me so we can make that connection and I can start meeting with you as my affiliate partner as well and so on.